G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. I have been really busy this week. I've got loads to show you. I have a building that I have built which is maybe my favourite build ever. That's that's a bold move that we're talking better than the castle in season one. Who knows? It's uh, it's a really nice build, and I've been busy around here. Uh, we've got we've got heaps to do, so let's get straight into it. Now, be patient <laughs> before <laughs> before I take you on a tour of that build. I want to show you a little bit of what I've done around uh, around this area. By the way, uh, so last time I was here, uh, I nearly let a word slip that I don't ever say on my channel, and uh, so therefore, this area, the elf area, is going to be called Effendor. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't mind it. Effendor. Okay, so here at Effendor... Oh dear. I might need to change it. If you see this, then I'm leaving it like that, okay? <laughs> so, what I've done... I went around this building. I just added a little bit of shading in to the corners of these buildings. I... Um, it was looking a little smooth for me, so I, I did that, and I did a little bit of work up above too, but I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. So yeah, all the way around, I've, I've just done a little bit of sort of shading, texturing, whatever you want to call it, uh, just to make this area look a little bit better. Um, I removed, oh, uh, yeah, so, and up on top here, I, I did, the, did the same here, and then just add a little thing to the top <laughs> I removed the archway over here I really love that archway but I think I can do better and I don't think it goes here so we'll we'll get into that now over here where these where this area was I've dug these out and I've put I've put a way through I will just carry a sword just in case uh, so this goes through, it links up with the, yes, it links up with the other side over here, uh, which is just, you know, all of this bit here. And yeah, I, I like this. I like the idea that this is sort of a walkthrough area that would join up to to the other side. This will, this will continue this sort of patterning out and, and texturing and things like that. I've just got done like a rough thing. And then through here, which goes into the area down you've got to be very careful because that's a long way down as i found out horribly so over that way is where i built that little house and and this is the animal hill right so most of the elf district effendor will go will go the other way um and and i have plans for that i'll show you what they are 
in a minute, but you you sat through a time lapse of, of what I've done. Let me show you what I've done. Okay, if we head out here, I don't think I showed you these stairs. So they've got these stairs here and I've got a the same sort of thing over the other side. Um, now, I've redone all of this section here. So at the tops here, just throwing in, you know, some gates and some diorite and things like that to give it a bit of a look. I want I want this area to look uh, sort of regal, I guess, is the right thing to say. Um, yeah, so I, th I think it's got that look. Like, I think it looks really good. There's a little bit too much dirt in the path and things like that, but we'll, we'll get to that, the, the beautifying and things. This is just a very rough sort of start. Um, and then we've got this over here, which... I just think it looks so beautiful. I I really am I I hesitate to say it's my favorite build I've ever done. Um just I had so much fun designing it and building it. I'll give you a bit of a spin around. And yeah, I just really, I really like that. Now I've done things like, you know, this old trick of the the lecterns backwards with chocolate on top of them. Um, I am trying my hardest to use <laughs> dark oak trapdoors in different areas. Uh, so I'm just throwing them into the build a bit and seeing if it sticks, seeing if it, it, it works. Um, I think they look good as a sort of entrance way. I, I still I still struggle with them, but they're they're okay. Now, since the time lapse, you will look. I added in some waxed copper in different places um, just to break up the blue on the on the roof a little bit, like these areas here and stuff. Um, I, I I just have this thing of if there are nine blocks of the same color, like even here where there's a, a spot here, I find it looks very plain, and I I really try not to do that. So. Yeah, that's what I try and do. Um, the tower here was a lot of fun to build. Um, and I built this tower and then I smushed it into the building. <laughs> I sort of had to find a place for it to sit. Um, yeah, and just threw in some vines and things around and brought the crimson back in. Um, I mean, the, the warped back in. Uh, but one thing I'm really proud of, and that is... This, I haven't seen this technique done anywhere before. This was done by accident. I was using the um, the chiseled bookshelves to give me some more texture around the building. And, um, and I put it down and I accidentally put it the wrong way and I put a slab in front of it. And I thought, wait, that looks really good. It gives like a shadow underneath the slab and gives you the ability to do little like USB ports here. <laughs> <laughs> little power plugs or something oh i need to sleep okay now that pesky sleeping's out of the way but i tried to change things up with things like the windows i tried not to do the same windows everywhere i tried to throw in lots of different colored wood so that it would break it up a little bit using some you know some spruce in here and oak here and stripped oak and the, um doing the uh, the bee hivey things, not the bee hives, the bee the you those things uh, on the side there, on the side of the windows, just to look like, a bit like shutters without having to do my usual shutter thing, and using stairs and not using stairs, and using slabs and not using slabs, and yeah, more of the chocolate things up around there, and hidden in there as well. Um, so yeah, I've sort of just tried to really throw together different different things and and I'm really happy with the way it came out I know I always say that but I really am this is this is a beautiful build um, and I'll, I'll take you on a tour of the inside now I want you all to remember I am really no good at interiors and I'm trying I'm trying so hard to learn them 
and I'm trying so hard to do better with them. Let's go on and have a look. So we come in through the front door um, and, and just did that, you know, putting, putting the trap doors around it to give it some more depth here. Um, then inside I've got a nice little comfy, you know, because it'd be really comfortable to sit on courts. That'd be really good. Cool. <laughs> and a little shelf sort of thing behind there with some flower pots and things. A little two-seater table there and and things. And the inside's a bit boring. Um, thank you, MC Oda. Um, now I do indented roofs, <laughs> ceilings. <laughs> little I try didn't do it right he does it much better than I do go and check out MC Oda's videos and see how he does that a lot better than I do um here I don't know if that's staying like that I, I just sort of as I said I was throwing things together a little cupboard in here that's really just there to house the light um you know and and a seat here and you know some pictures around and things on the bottom floor here we also have a uh a little greenhouse I thought that might be fun to throw a greenhouse in um, you know on on the inside of a building which I haven't done before I don't know if this thing with the water will stay I can always put that under the blocks but I just you know I like to try different things and that's that's what I was doing here so then upstairs here we have a very unfinished bedroom uh, you're only allowed to look at this bit because over here there's nothing <laughs> Um, and here has the upstairs. Uh, this is the the ladder up to the um, up to the roof or the attic, which has nothing in it currently. Um, I don't know if I'm going to spend a lot of time doing these interiors. As I say, I would like to get the village done, and to get the village done, I it's it's mainly about its appearance from the outside. So it doesn't matter whether a house has a wardrobe that can't be used inside it. It to me it just matters um that you know that that i've got this village that's sort of growing and things i will i promise i'll get better at this and i'll 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 do it i'll i will go around and do them i said that season one too and i never did i think i did about three buildings <laughs> even set a decree in season one uh up here with this is the top of the tower i guess we're hiding some gems i was going to put an enchanting table up here but maybe i will another time I also did some more work um, to the hillside over here, uh, just just making it come down like a hill rather than, um, and I haven't finished over there, you're not allowed to look over there. <laughs> but we should because there's a back to this building. So um, yeah, even on, the, even on the back of this, I've, I've gone around and again, done more, more windows and things with different designs and things done the bookshelf thing again done the usb ports in there um and yeah i just i, I can't speak enough of how much i love this house I, I really do i i think it looks magnificent um this side over here just gone with the usual you know the covering over here and this will come down so the reason this is going to come out go this way so this will sort of be a start of the pathway so as i said we have another set of stairs that comes up here and then the village is going to continue down over this way and I think we have like we have a lot of room um, to, to build a lot of stuff this is our squid ink farm so we'll have to blend that in somehow but I thought maybe putting a main building here-ish um, and then having it sort of diagonally you know this this little bit here could be part of the square um and then coming forward to the waterway here and having the village sort of spreading out along here and spreading out along there um yeah and and you know it docks and boats and all the other stuff that sounds like an awful amount of work uh but anyway <laughs> i i think yeah as i said and, and i'm going to keep harping on about it because i like I really like this building, so I hope you guys do too. Uh, yes, so then we have, um, oh, I have an idea for some gardens. This is why I'm carrying around loads and loads of materials here. I thought that maybe along here we could do something, and, and I don't know how this is going to come out because I haven't tried it, but maybe we do like a 
boot, boot, and a one of them. And then one, two, three. And then let's repeat the the process. So this is going to be a themed wall. So this wall will be, I think, the main wall design around around the whole village. I say village. It's not if the plans go according to plan, um, like I have the idea of it, then um, then it'll be a city. That's that's the idea. That's what I want to do. Is a a, a full city so yeah three there one of those one of those um did you guys see the thing about the different colored wolves uh, that is so exciting to me I, I love the idea of of being able to have different skinned wolves i've always thought it was a bit of a um a bit of a a slap in the face for for dog lovers that we get one um yeah one variant of of wolves and, and okay we get to color some collars but then cats get get cat lovers get all of the cats you know uh, i was very excited to see that news this week that that was what they were going to do um then along here i think we might stick i don't know how that's going to look we'll just stick these down and we'll have a look and see um let's see yeah, I yeah, just so excited, so excited to get a, a black, um, a black dog. Oh, I think that looks pretty nice, you know. I think that looks really good. Let's have a look. So we'll we'll skip into. Um, I'll throw on the free cam, uh, not free cam, the replay mod, and I'll do a little bit of a cinematic walkthrough. Let's have a look. So, ooh, look. Look at how pretty the the area is looking at night time as I'm walking along and slowly and over towards the house. Yeah, that feels really good. That looks good too. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's have a look. Yeah, so sort of picture that wherever there's a pathway or, or in a lot of places where there's a pathway, it has this sort of thing behind it. And you can still put builds and stuff behind it. I just need to leave space to to get through. Maybe I wouldn't do it. Would I do it here? I don't know. Let's let's have a quick look and see. Uh, okay, so if we if we continued that here, how would it how would it look? I'm sure I could be far more efficient if I just did that maybe to there I can always bring the path out a little bit further one there one there one there a little bit of a iron gate along there oh um so why am I putting iron gates on top of these parts because it changes the way that the um the thing looks I prefer that look to um, to the flat sort of look there I think so let's just have a look and see we can always pull it down and and I think we I really keep it mm, mm, mm. Yeah, let's just put it up for now and have a look in a minute and keep it very uniform right so keeping the same um, the lilacs and and keeping the the fencing let's let's just have a look if we pan back yeah i think i think it even works there um how to do diagonals would be a real problem i can't think of any way to get that look to look good on a diagonal so i'm not going to so yeah so i think that's um yeah, I think that's a good look. Now, where can we put a tree farm? Should we do it here? I'm not going to do it now, and I've never built a tree farm. Oh, does that look terrible with the hanging plant? It does. Good. Well, let's get rid of it then. Okay. Um, I do like this hanging plant thing. I, I, There's a gap there, and I don't like it, but that's fine. That's fine. Um so let's have a think about that where can we you know where might be a good place would be to just put it back in the tower 
So I'm sure that we would have space because we've done some farms on that level, but I don't think we've done anything up on that level. No, I haven't done anything on this level. Shh, down there, silly sheep. This might be a good place for a, for a wood farm, maybe. Because the idea was behind the tower was going to be that it... Um, can I... Sneaky... How? Why would I do that without boots on? Anyway, yeah, here was all the little little sort of farms and things like that where I where I had the sheep farm and the um, sugar cane and the nether wart and things like that. So that was the idea behind the tower. I think we'll do that. I think we might throw a log farm uh, into into this building. Let's just fly back over and have a look at how that area looks now. So pathway over. We've got the the sort of town center building and this beautiful building up here. I, I think that looks great. I really like, I really like those gardens that we've done there. I think they look really good. Like not gardens, walls, I guess. Walls is the word I'm looking for. I wonder if they need to come back to this. No, they don't. That would be too much. Don't be silly, Zinkberg. Of course, that's plenty like it is. I'm sort of getting, uh, getting very inspired to build yeah, to build a lot of stuff here. They're really that fragile. You hit them once with a rocket in your hand and they implode on... Do they? They do. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. Good. That's exciting. Yeah, to, to get building in, in here and sort of do all of these things, I think that's, you know, that's... I, I really want to do something grand and and fun and and because I've just had so much fun building this from Meisingberg and from here Effendale, um, I, how do I say it without laughing every time? I'm so immature, um, guys. Thank you very much for joining me this week. I I really love you all to death, and thank you for those of you who are sticking around. Um, I. I yeah, I can't say enough words for what you guys mean to me. It really does mean the world to me. If you have ideas for things that you want to see me build in this world, remembering it's an elvish city, so if there are things that you, you think would look good or whatever, throw a comment down below. Hit hit the like and the subscribe. Do all the things that you already know about. Um, I will catch you next week, guys. Have a great week. I'll speak to you later. Bye.